Hey guys, welcome back to another video. As you see in the title, it's my home court app review. Because of that reason, I got my KD shirt on um, for that special occasion. And yeah, let's go with home court. So if you don't know about home court, it is a basketball training app um, specialized um, for training by yourself. So it's perfect for the current time with the quarantine and stuff. You can go outside um, with the ball and your phone and do trainings by yourself. This app is pretty pretty good. I used it now for three days and yes it's pretty straightforward and it's clear and it, it's pretty fun and challenging to, to, to work out by yourself and to have a, to have a goal. Because, you know, when you train alone, sometimes I don't have a goal. And with that app, you have a goal and you have your challenges that you have to take on. And yeah, it's pretty nice. So first of all, as you see, you can type in your, your body measurements, your height, your weight, also the wingspan. So we just do the wingspan right now. Give me one second. Now I have to... Oh, it doesn't work. Okay, now I'll go back. Perfect. Hold still while we take your measurements. Great. Now we're gonna sit tall with your back straight while we take your measurements. That's nice, that's nice. As you see it's pretty easy to do your body measurements. And yeah, my skill uh, then you can choose your skill level. I just do I don't know, high school, position, I'm small, so guard, gender, male, birthday, it doesn't matter. Okay, yeah, and it's pretty straight up to get in to, uh, to set up your account. And yeah, then when you first start the app, um, like this main part is the most important thing. Here you have your daily, your challenge of the day. Today is the shuttle run. And then you see recent, your history, which trainings I've done. And then by category, agility drills, agility, agility drills, ball handling drills, shooting drills, junior NBA training videos and exclusive drills. And getting started, that's pretty, you don't have to watch that. It's just like you don't need like a tripod, you just can um, put your phone on, on the floor and with something to stabilize it and then the features it's self-explanatory in action you don't need those yeah and then it's pretty easy just go into the ball handling drills and first of all you can ball, do the ball handling fundamentals basic dribble dribble height crossover v dribble in and out and two ball. I will show you now some clips of me. You just put the, put it on the floor, your phone, and you do what it says. It's pretty pretty nice to to work out. I really can recommend it to you. So guys, right now I'm showing you my clips of yeah of three days ago. Uh, let's go. Um, yeah, as you see here, I am. Dribbling the ball and with your offense you have to hit the target and the faster you can hit the target the more points you get. As you see I'm, I'm struggling. Yeah, if you do it on a phone it's quite hard to, to see because it's kind of far away. If you have the possibility use your iPad better you can see the instructions better and I recommend also to use like airpods so you can hear what they say and when they start and yes yeah, you see uh, he, 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 he gets it yeah he eight seven uh, um, ah. yeah he, he handled this good okay and here's the next drill, right high, and often then it changes left low, and then you do left, uh, 10 with the left low and right low, pretty straightforward. 
left mid. For me, uh, never play basketball in team. It is really helpful and yeah, this was day one. And then here, day two, sorry guys, lighting is not that good. But on day two, I, I noticed that I'm more confident just after one day because I never did like really ball handling drills by myself. And yeah, with the lab I do it, not just random, between the leg, crossover, behind the back, southern, uh, southern. Um, in, in, in fact I, I really do real ball handling drills now and I think after day two it's getting a little bit better. As you see ball handling drills you earn some stars, I 57 out of 87 and yeah so you can challenge yourself to get as much as you can and then you have like ball handling routine for beginner, intermediate. Intermediate is really intermediate for me. It's challenging and advanced I think is really hard. I didn't have done the cone dribble yet but the basic 10 seconds I've done and yeah you see the time right now just can challenge yourself to, to get better every time. And yeah the 300 left, 300 right and 600 combo I haven't not done yet. So yeah guys I found these ball handling wheels really really helpful and coming now to the shooting drills it's pretty nice you have to place your phone on the right corner or on the left corner of the court and aim at the hoop so that it's all nice and yeah that the app notices where the hoop is and stuff like that and as you see floater drills single hand scoop lay up single leg shooting shot progression mid-range baseline jumpers mid-range a lot of a lot of shooting drills mostly done ball handling drills after the more shooting drills but after the shot progression it's this you start at the front of the basket every time you make it you step and you take a step back Joe Harris explain um, is explaining um, to you how you do it properly he tells you like the shooting form as well. He teach me something like with his with his um, shooting mechanics. I feel more comfortable. I have more control of the ball when I shoot the ball. It's pretty helpful. That's that that was really really helpful. And yes, yeah, you see also on the right on the top right corner. There's even a chart with the makes and with the misses. And also on the on the bottom makes misses pretty sick, pretty impressive, pretty sick. Also when you have airpods you hear it like 8 out of 17. It's pretty pretty nice. And this is the shot progression, pretty pretty straightforward. You go back when you make it and you go 10 shots and 10 shots you go a step forward. I will work out now a ton and show you my progression on like my basketball skills and guys one thing to notice is that this app is free until the 31st of May until the end of the month and after that it's like around 80 bucks per year it's quite expensive how much is that like six seven dollars per month I I think that's that's worth it. It's pretty. It's 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 a really nice app, and I have not even done the agility drills and like the exclusive drills, and all of the shooting drills. There's a lot a lot to train up to 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 learn, and yeah, a lot of different drills, guys. Like I said, I'll keep you up to date. Thank you guys for watching. This was my home court review. See you in the next one, guys. Peace.